welcome back to the second part of my massive Korean Asian beauty haul. Last week I showed you all my makeup purchases and this week it's all about skincare. And like the last haul, I will be saving a lot of my reviews for future videos because unfortunately I have but one face. I've never in my life wished more that I had like at least three faces so I can try all these amazing products. So I want to preface this by saying I think winter arrived in Seoul before anywhere else in the world. It was cold. So this may help you understand some of the choices I made, but also it helps me understand why so many of the products are very much focused on hydration, which is all good. So let's start with cleansers. I'm really excited about these two new ones that I got. So what I love about these two is that they're both oil to foam cleansers. Well, actually this one is gel to foam. It's sort of combining two steps into one. So the first one I'm gonna show you is from Goodall, which is just an amazing skincare brand. I'm very much into fermented ingredients and this brand is all about double fermentation. The second one I'm gonna show you is from a company called AHC, which stands for Aesthetic Hydration Cosmetics. This is a cosmeceutical brand. This cleanser is called Change Oil to Foam Cleanser. So the good old one starts off as a gel to remove all your makeup, and then once you add water, it turns into a foam to cleanse your skin. And the uh, AHC one starts off as an oil for the same purpose, to remove all your surface makeup. Once you add water, it swiftly turns into a foam to cleanse your skin. The next cleanser I got is, of course, my favorite, Vanilla Co. Clean at Zero, except for this time I got the Purity one because I just really, really want to try it. So I got a toner from Dr. Jart's Most Moist line. This is the Water Act Skin Mist. So this line is primarily focused on helping your skin retain moisture. It's meant to help strengthen your moisture barrier. There's a lot of hyaluronic acid in here. And the other mist I got, I love. It is Innisfree's Olive Real Oil Mist. I love Innisfree's olive oil line. Um, I also love their green tea seed oil line, um, but for winter, it's all about olive oil for me. This so the other mist I got is from Skin Food. It is the Rose Essence Moist Makeup Fixer. I love rose mists. I think it's so soothing and great for sensitive skin. People with dry skin who wear makeup will particularly love this. I, so I've talked a lot about how obsessed I've become with the whole aqua peel concept which um, exfoliates but simultaneously adds moisture back into your skin. So I got this pack of three from a brand called The Same, and this is more intense than the ones that I've used previously. Um, this one is 9% AHA and BHA acid, so it's um, lactic and salicylic acid. I also got this two-step aqua peeling kit, um, which includes the aqua peeling swab. Um, this one only has AHA, lactic acid, and it also includes a moisturizing cellulose mask. I'm excited to try these. Um, with peeling products, there's always a little bit of a concern about whether or not they might irritate my sensitive skin, but we will see. The other peel I got is this Bio Peel from Neogen. It is their wine gauze peel. And I've actually been quite curious about this because I've seen other people use it. Um, this was on sale, so it was such a reasonable price. Um, I got it. And these are individually soaked gauze pads. And I have used this, but I haven't used it enough to really give you an informed opinion. I got this essence from Sum 37. I went to the beautiful freestanding Sum 37 store and just went, I felt like there were angels singing in there when I walked in. This is the secret programming essence and let's just say there are essences and then there's this. This is a pricey product but this has more fermented ingredients than Misha or SK2 or any other essence out there. And I am definitely going to be doing a more in-depth review about this. Essence. So interestingly, the next essence I got is like a throwback essence. This is the Innisfree Soybean Energy Essence. This is one of the first ones I ever used years ago, and I actually got this before I even knew what an essence really was. I just remember being so impressed from swatching this on my hand and seeing what it did to my skin on my hand just from that one swatch. So I got it and I guess I didn't really know how to use it. Anyway, there have been so many essences since then, and I've just come to realize that going back to this one, how great it really was. And this was even before I understood how wonderful fermented ingredients were. 
and this next, next essence is from Belif. I loved going to Belif's freestanding store because it is just so full of amazing products. We have a far smaller selection everywhere else. This is their classic essence increment. So this is what I would consider a winter essence. This is not like your typical essence, which is usually quite watery or even a little viscous. This is more like a gel or a cream. I also got this winter serum from Innisfree that's just launched this winter and this is their ginger oil serum. So it's an oil serum and I've never tried an oil serum so I was really really excited about this. Ginger in the winter time is just such a warming and nutritious ingredient and this serum is meant to nourish your skin and give it a wonderful natural gloss. I want a natural gloss. So I got a new eye cream from Belif. Um, I didn't need a new eye cream, but then again, I don't need four new essences either. Um, wow. So I got this eye cream because the sales lady in Belif told me that this is by far the best selling item out of all the Belif products. Their number one seller. So let's see what this can do. From Shara Shara, which is another brand that I'm beginning to see so many fun things from, um, I got their Argan Cream to Oil Moisturizer. So this starts off in a creamy consistency, and then as you apply it, it turns into a light oil. And it's more like a dry oil, so it's not that greasiness that you're going to have on your skin. It eventually just absorbs quite quickly. I think the problem with this though, and this could be quite a big problem for some people, this, the fragrance is incredibly strong, and it's a perfumey fragrance as well, and it stays and lingers. This is the Moisture Barrier Liquid from Goodall. This is probably one of the best products I've ever purchased. This is definitely worth an in-depth review because there's so much to say about it, um, but it is like a multifunctional product. This is meant to replace your toner essence lotion. You use this right before your moisturizer, but it is very moisturizing, so you don't even need moisturizer sometimes. From Benilco, I got the Miss Flower Mr. Honey Cream, and I also got their Essence Stick. The time when I went to Benilco, this was the hottest selling product. And so, of course, I was curious, but also um, it's honey based and it's winter and I've just been very much into all my honey products. The first thing I noticed about this is it smells like pure honey, like you open up a jar and you're smelling honey. The other thing is the texture is also very, very honey-like and I don't mean in that very sticky kind of goopy way. Um, it's definitely more like um, a, a balm. When you apply it, it kind of really thins out and becomes maybe a little oily, I guess, but um, it's it's very, very strange, hard to get used to, but I, I kind of like it so far. For some reason, I just love skincare in a stick, and this is exactly what this is. And I've actually used this a lot, especially when I was on the plane, and you know my no hands rule on the plane, so I actually would use this um, sometimes and just swipe it under my eyes, just actually all over my face. This is just a lovely light texture actually. It's not like, um, it's not as thick as like, you know, chapstick or balms or anything like that. It's kind of a nice, lovely texture on your skin. Um, but also because I got a really, really bad cold and I was blowing my nose constantly, this whole area was so raw. I actually used this to rub around this area constantly and it was so perfect for that. I also got this creamy moisturizer from Belif. Um, it's a thinner consistency than their cream. This really deeply hydrates without the emollients of an equivalently hydrating thick cream. And Belif is another one of those companies that just do not have anything bad in their products. No mineral oils, no synthetic anythings. It's just clean skincare. Now for the cutest things ever from Skin Food, these little gummy bear hand gel moisturizers. I just got pretty much all the flavors and just gave them out to everybody. They were such a big hit. These are actually great hand moisturizers. They're a gel, they're not a cream. So I kind of felt like, well, how moisturizing can that be? They are super moisturizing, incredibly light, non-invasive, not greasy. I really love these, so I only have two left for myself. So the first one I got is from one of my favorite all-time brands. It's from Suwasu. It is their overnight vitalizing mask. Honestly, the only reason I haven't tried this yet is because I knew I would be going back to Seoul, and it's just much cheaper there. I got this gold black pearl eye mask from a spa called Shanpri that I went to literally after I got off the plane. 
got off the plane, went straight to the spa, and had probably one of the best spa experiences um, I've ever had. And uh, I posted a picture of my gold masking, ex rubber masking experience there on Instagram. So these gold black pearl eye masks, again, amazing. We'll talk more about it. I also got the Luminous Mask from Sum 37, which I'm really excited to try. I've actually been really into Luminous Masks lately because not only do they have all the skincare properties, but they also leave your skin looking really radiant. This is the Abalone Mask from Blythe. Blythe is a brand that I believe is just so up and coming. It's just so innovative. They've got a lot of products that I've tried and absolutely love, um, one of them being the Splash Masks. But yeah, so they have um, a bunch of masks and this is a winter mask. This is seriously intensive. This is possibly the most hydrating mask I have ever tried. This is pure moisturization. I also got these bubble masks from Barisum. So I have really been into the mineral water or the sparkling water um, beauty products uh, recently. I have reviewed quite a few of them and just absolutely loved every single one of them. So these masks are focused very much on fruit extracts. The ingredient list is fantastic. So I got the aqua fruit, which is focused more on moisturization and also the Brighten Fruit, which is very citrusy and uh, more geared towards brightening. So I've actually tried these masks. They're so much fun. I definitely need to do um, an updated sheet mask review, um, but these would definitely be in it. So I do not know what happened to me when I walked into Benilico, but I just stopped thinking and I started grabbing and I started shoving these masks into my cart. I'm a big fan of the Lace Hydrogel Eye Patch, so when I saw the price, I was like, done. I also remember trying the Lace Hydrogel Mask. Um, I forgot which one it was, but I loved it. And so I got the moisturizing, the calming, and the illuminating one. I also got their Miss Water Mr. Oil Hydrating Gel Mask. This is hyaluronic acid, and it's also this very complex combination of nut seed oils that have been um, perfectly emulsified uh, with the hyaluronic acid to make this beautiful emulsion blend. Um, I'm a big fan of Miss Water and Mr. Oil, actually. I don't know why I don't see it more. This is, so this was quite interesting. A friend of mine bought this uh, corset patch and um, later on gave it to me which I thought was um, very sweet. This is a body firming, skin softening, wide belly patch. You're supposed to leave this on for eight hours. I can't wait to try this. So that's it for my skincare haul. I hope you enjoyed this. If there's anything you want to know more about, please leave it in the comments below. A lot of these products are going to show up in future reviews, I promise you, because a lot of them are just amazing. Anyway, um, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!